bright duty. Every student matters. Based on topic 4, they have asked, what is Morong? So here we have to define it. Morong is a large hall located close to the village, located close to the village gate. For an emergency, so that the youth could be quickly armed. And it was a place, you can say it was a place where the training was given to, training was given to youth. In various aspects of the life until they get married. So, in this way you have to explain this term morung here. The next one based on the same topic they have asked which is the most important traditional educational institution of the Nagas. So, if we talk about the traditional educational institution of the Nagas that is going to be Morung only and even this statement can be used as a part of this one. It is very short question answers we are taking here. So, in very brief you have to give the answers to the same. Who brought modern education to Nagaland? So, here we have to mention that Christian missionaries were the one who brought modern education to Nagaland. When was Nagaland declared as a... Who brought modern education to Nagaland? What are the two reasons for opening the schools in Nagaland by the missionaries means what was their purpose to introduce this education the christian education in nagaland so here we can give the intro and then we'll mention about the two point the first main reason was just to break the superstition of the people their belief in animism where they had to believe in their spirits the life and the death the connectivity they were talking about so when they found this kind of things prevailing in nagaland so they try to introduce their own modern education there so that they can break all the superstitions that were prevailing in the Naga society. Because that was the thing which was their belief in their traditional religion was the thing which was preventing them to listen to, preventing them to hear and responding to the gossip. And the second reason if we talk about, you can mention here the second was to provide a means of Christian instructions and access to the Christian scriptures and as well as literature. So, that is why they want to open up the Christian schools in Nagaland. Explain briefly Naga Morung as an educational institution. So, this is a short question answers we are taking here. So, not in very detail but the few important points related to that Naga Morung you need to mention here. So, firstly you can explain what was the Morung. It was a place where the youth used to go, where the youth underwent training until they get married. And here along with that you have to mention, it was in the Morung that a boy learned that art and craft which was necessary for their life as adults. Beside that in the Morung, the youth also came to know about their tradition, their religion, philosophy and the rules of behavior. Beside that, strict discipline was followed in Morung. So, in this way you have to explain about Morung in brief. Now, these essay type questions they are asking. The first, this one they have asked, discuss the advent of modern education in Nagaland. That how the modern education was initiated in Nagaland. So, that we know that modern education was introduced in Nagaland by the Christian missionaries only. And as soon as the Baptist missionaries came to Nagaland, they opened up schools. And the two reasons that we have mentioned in the previous answers, we have to mention that what was the reason behind it. The first reason you have to mention, firstly, they would like to break the superstitious of the people, which, were, which was preventing them to hear or follow the gossip, the principles of gossip. And secondly, we can say that they would like to 
provide a means of Christian instructions and access to the Christian literature. So that that's why they started opening up the schools. And here we can say that in the beginning, these Christian missionaries enjoyed their monopoly in the field of education. And what was the result of that? The missionaries would start the schools and the government would have and the government would then help them by giving the whatever the aids required by or the fund required by them. And if we talk about the involvement of the government just increased after the creation of the Nagaland as a separate state. Otherwise earlier than that if we talk about uh, prior to that these Missionaries were the one those who were involved in opening up the school and providing the education to the people. Those actually were the one those who introduced this modern education in Nagaland. And when it was declared as a separate state, the people of the Nagaland they started demanding for the quality education. And this demand was met by opening up the different private institution because not enough government schools or the colleges were there. So again these missionaries got the opportunity to open up the more and more modern schools there. So in this way you are going to explain it in detail. All these points will be added on. Discuss the importance of Morung in traditional Naga society. So this answer although we have already discussed but here you have to give the answer in detail. So here we can say that this was the most important traditional education system for the bachelors or the youth and beside that also it existed for girls. The youth dormitory is known by the different names in the tribes and most commonly term for that was Morung means different names were given but the most traditional name if we talk about that was Morung only. It was a large hall and it was located near or close to the village gate. So that in any sort of emergency whenever it is required the youth can get armed. Here we have to mention about that what kind of training used to be given. Here the youth underwent a training until they get married and they were getting the knowledge related to philosophy, art, craft and all such kind of things you need to mention here in detail. The process of their education will be added on. That what kind of process they were going through while they were getting training in this Morung. And after that you have to mention the features of the Morung. That what kind of things they were including in it. Self-discipline, social values were the most important part of these Morung. Then you have to mention that they were following the principle of per, they were following the principle of learning by doing means practically getting involved in the things. So all these points will be taken here. Now based on the high order thinking skills and the problem solving assessment that is PSA, list out the traditional learning methods and tools of learning and discuss it relevance in the present day means firstly we have to mention what were the different learning methods in the traditional time and different tools used at that time and now we have to match it with the present day the modern day clear so here we have to present our own viewpoint our own perception we are going to use here so here we can say that firstly the intro will be given the traditional learning method and the tools of learning are the boys learned the techniques of we can mention they learn the techniques of war, wrestling, dance, even singing, games and sports. So this sort of basic training was given to them. Girls if we talk about they learn about art and craft such as weaving here yeah. then beside that they were also learning about their tradition their own religion philosophy and the rules of behavior so all these points all these features of modern you have to mention here they learned about the self-discipline and the social val values of the society then learning by doing was one of the another important features of this traditional education system and if we compare it with the today's time that 
how much still we are having the impact of the traditional system here in our society so somewhere we can say that the importance of that morong is slowly diminishing it's when getting vanished and now it is not considered important because the new system or the new method has been introduced so if we talk about the people are not following all these method the techniques of war, war wrestling dance all those in some modified way we can say that these things has been introduced in our modern education but not in the same traditional way still some values we are still carrying forward with the modern education but the method of teaching has been totally changed so in this way you can explain this